basically we were fishing in deep water and uh, for this bass tournament. And I had to have, this is a uh, Berkeley Fusion wheelless jig head. I had put these on an Alabama rig in a bass tournament the week before. And right before I was leaving, I only had like 10 of these. Well, I had all 10 on an Alabama rig that I was using. I mean, two Alabama rigs my son and his buddy were using this bass tournament. So when I, before I left, I went and took all these off. Well, I only had, I think I only took five off. And these, uh, they're a little white paddle tail. Little white paddle tail like this. And uh, what I'm doing is, I'm threading this on this weedless jig head and throwing it around these marshes. It's garlic scented, garlic infused. And for whatever reason, these fish really, really, I, I guess it's uh, showing up well in the water and uh, maybe mimicking some of the bait fish they're eating. So uh, I'm not sponsored by them. I think they're called H2O swimmers or something like that. Uh, I went to a cadmium and bought them out the other day after I figured out they would eat them. <laughs> They didn't make it on time, so the guy shipped them to Lafitte, Louisiana for me. Uh, these are uh, Naughty Hooker jig heads. Bad Marine sells them out of uh, Kima, Texas. Might actually be Dickinson, Texas, but a uh, guy named Brian Deirdrent. Tell you what, you don't find a better person, uh, salt of the earth type of guy. Great company. They make it, this is, this is the best jig head they make. It's a five alt heavy wire. That's a redfish jig head right there, if there ever was one. You, you're not gonna bend that jig head and the fish just don't come off. I've used other jig heads and they just, if you wonder why they're in a, in a UPS package, it's because I had ordered some, they didn't get there and Brian custom shipped them to me and uh, really helped me out. 50 pound suffix braid. And the only knot you tie for a redfish is a Palomar knot. I'm not sponsored by suffix either, but it is the best line on the market, in my opinion. chartreuse tails and I walked by the garlic dip and I was like that's it I actually caught one of my fish yesterday on the one with a dip tail most of them been coming off of a just a regular old white paddle tail like that and that's how you customize a bait Situated and ready. 